Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Mel Herbert here for Talking Tesla. I have the mug. The mug is full of Diet Coke. So, very quick video this week. You know there's this new camper mode, right? So the idea of camper mode is that you can set the air conditioning or the heater and it will stay on even after the car shuts down. And uh, on the app in the past, you were able to turn sort of the air conditioning on, but it's sort of timed out, I believe, after a, a little while. So camper mode allows you to basically camp. It allows you to turn on the AC or the, or the heater and leave it on overnight, for example, when you're camping. So on a recent really hot day here in Woodland Hills, I wanted to find out how much battery it's going to take. Is it going to just destroy your battery? So I went on a hot day, it was 96 degrees outside, and I set the internal temperature for 68. I then went out of the car and uh, went to a cross-country meet for four hours and came back. And if you follow the math right here, and if you look at how much energy I had at the beginning and then how much energy I had at the end of that four hours, with that running continuously, keeping it at 68 degrees on a really hot day, it worked out to be about one to 2% of battery per hour. So that gives you sort of a ballpark. I'm not going to say this is an exact thing that you're going to get every time, but it gives you a ballpark of how much energy you're going to use if you run the air conditioner. It's not going to completely destroy your battery in 12 hours, but it is going to take a significant amount of energy if you, say, go overnight for 10 hours uh, where you need your air conditioner on. And for heating, I haven't done that test. It really hasn't been cold enough here in the valley, but maybe uh, I'll get to it or somebody else will get to it on the interwebs, and it'll be interesting to see whether heating requires more energy than cooling. I suspect that might be true, but I will do a test later. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Just one data point to tell you how much energy is required when you put it on camper mode on a hot day. The show is talking Tesla. My name is Mel Herbert. We'll talk to you next week. Bye for now.